Mr. Stinson, just want to welcome us back. We'll give you a few details so we know what's going on. Car riders, when you enter campus, you'll pull up here. There'll be questions here for you. If you can answer no to all the questions, that's great. If not, uh, you'll have to go home and quarantine. There will be someone here to ask questions and to take your temperature. If everything checks out, you'll exit the car and you'll enter in campus. So we'll enter in, we'll be able to get our second chance breakfast. So follow us. Come on, Miss Sykes. Let's go. Nation. There's two rooms, that, two buildings that you'll go to when you're in the campus. If you're testing with CTE, you'll go to the uh, C building. If you're testing for the EOC, you'll go to K building. There will be staff members lined up on the sidewalk to help direct you to where your testing site will be. So here we go. If you're hungry, you can stop and eat on your way to school, or you can stop by here and we'll provide a second chance breakfast for you. So here we go. You stop by the breakfast kiosk, you'll get your breakfast, and then you'll report to your testing site. All right, Anson High School, when you get, if you're riding a bus, we'll dismiss the buses one at a time. You'll get off the bus, you'll enter into the commons area. Make sure you have your mask, make sure you're social distancing. There will be staff members here that will take your temperature and ask you questions. Remember, don't forget, for testing, you need to make sure you bring your laptop and you also bring your charger. If everything checks out and it's an all clear, you'll be cleared, you can get a second chance breakfast. You can get your breakfast and then report to your testing site. Anson High School students, when you arrive at your testing site, if you plan on leaving with all testing, again, let me repeat that, when all testing is complete, you take your note, you give it to your test administrator, and then you take a seat, and you wait for testing to begin. Again, I want to remind you, each day, if you have a test, if you plan on leaving when all testing is complete, you need to bring a note each day to provide to your test administrator so that we can make sure that we keep accurate record. Again, all right, Anson High School students, just a few reminders. If you're coming on campus to test the week of December 14th through the 18th, I want to give you a few reminders. First, you can report to campus at 9.30 a.m. Testing will begin at 10 a.m. If for some reason you are having a fever, you're not feeling well, or you have another uh, challenge that's going on that will prevent you from coming on campus to test, you need to make sure that you are communicating with, with the school. Uh, you are required to test. There is no PC-19 this semester. You are required to test and that test grade will count uh, towards your overall GPA. So again, if you are having any challenges with uh, coming to, on campus to test, please make sure that you're communicating with the school and we will be glad to work with you to ensure that your testing is able to take place. Make sure you bring your laptop and charger. Your laptop needs to be charged when it comes on campus. However, if it starts running low, we need to be able to charge it uh, while we're testing. We will provide a second chance breakfast before testing and we will also provide lunch. So lunch will be provided uh, once testing is complete. I want to encourage all students to do your best and to take your time uh, on these state tests. Again, if you're testing in a CTE course, you will test in C building. And if you are testing in an EOC course, you will be testing in K building. If you have any questions, please reach out to your advisor and they will be able to instruct you with any further details. Thank you and I hope everybody has a great afternoon.